What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark Alright guys, here's another great workout Are you ready for it? Yep, I'm gonna keep my eye on you and you keep eye on all those great exercises coming your way. As today, I really recommend using resistance ankle weights for the workout. Obviously, you can do all of those moves without it, but surely putting them on will take your workout to the next level. One more time, just a quick reminder, these are not weighted weights they weigh zero they do have resistance they're gonna make every single kick every single step way harder and we'll begin with a warm-up aqua jogging about five minutes go ahead jog in place curling those knees up and down making sure you are bringing your heels down to the bottom of the pool this is a warm-up so surely we have a little time to make sure we do all of those moves properly Add some motion if you have some space move forward and then backward easy on arms I love to warm up my wrist in this moment send you some hearts but also circle them out and in and eventually let's move to jogging out and in this one will start warming up your inner thighs and out thighs so same thing choose to move forward and backwards if you wish to add more challenge During your warm-up, you really just want to increase your body temperature, increase that body flow, blood flow, and really just give a signal to your body, hey, I'm about to do something more challenging, but you want to hold back a tiny bit and keep your best energy for later. I consider this workout great for all levels. If you are a beginner, you may want to skip using ankle weights for the first few classes and then add them once you are ready for more challenge let's start turning around continuing jogging out and in core engage back straight good tempo fun exercise This one will also warm up your abdominals. Then let's switch leg, right? So you're always gonna begin that out step with one leg. I call that one a leader. And I started with my right, and now I'm going with my left. Arms pretty much follow the same motion, right? So you're gonna open your arms out, and then in, scoop the water from the outside, bring it in. You know that the tempo of your warm-up is good if you guys can sing along or just chat with someone. Let's start turning around the other way. Frances, how are you doing today? 
Are you doing this workout with me? Peggy, are you on board? <laughs> Make sure you check in in the comments if you are. All right, guys, anytime you see that the water changes color, it means we're about to switch exercise. So expect something new, maybe take a quick water break, or if you love the exercise, just add a little bit more challenge into it closer to an end. All right, first exercise today is front kick and touch down. You will be kicking forward with right leg, and then you'll be pushing the same leg back and down. You wanna touch the bottom of the pool. Use your arms to make your kick stronger and higher. Pretty much, you will be pushing your hands in the opposite direction that your kick goes, right? So if I kick forward, I push my hands back. Once I'm pushing my toes down, I'm bringing my arms forward. That helps me to balance. Notice the other leg, the one that's not kicking, is grounded on the bottom of the pool. Do not climb up on your toes to kick higher. Your kicks should stay in line, okay? Do not let the water resistance to kind of move you sideways or so. You want your kicks or most of the exercise today to look exactly how they would look on land. Let's switch leg, follow the same tempo and do your best to maintain the same range of motion. Start turning around to make it more fun. Yeah, I guess I should mention here that wearing aqua shoes is a good idea for this exercise since there's a lot of twisting and turning and I'm telling you, uh, I'm gonna feel it on my feet next day. I forgot my shoes, my memory is great but short, so yeah, it happens. I bet it happens to you, don't forget them for this workout. Couple more. You see what's happening? The water changes color. We are moving on. Aqua jacks, number two. Let's do the same with arms and legs. So you're gonna jump out, open up your arms, jump in, bring your hands in. I'm turning my palms out and in, out and in. And I also turn around because guess what? It's more fun that way. So you're gonna do about eight and then you're gonna do a quarter turn and face the other side of the world, of your pool, of your playground, of your backyard, wherever you are. And again, eight more here. Every now and then you want those heels again to kiss the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Couple more jacks here facing each other. Let's smile. I'm sending you lots of virtual smiles. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Again, you see the water changes color. Feel free to speed things up or slow down and drink some water. We got some moving on, jumps out, knee tuck and sliding feet in. Notice my feet are moving off the bottom, but then they are close to the bottom as I slide it in. With these two aqua weights, it's a lot of fun, guys. Without, you won't feel much of a difference. But again, this workout is designed to be used with those resistant ankle weights. So if you already got them, you definitely use them along. Jumping out, sliding in. Again, every eight, we are turning because it's fun. Finish out this side. It's a little bit higher, core engaged. All right, jog it out. And let's move on to the next exercise, number four. This one is my absolutely favorite with resistance ankle weights. We're gonna do double kick. It's a side kick twice and then you're gonna keep your leg straight when you drag your leg down okay i call it drop down because really you want your leg to just drop ooh down you're feeling those inner thighs yeah we are sculpting those legs today glutes and legs oh boy you guys may be wondering can i do 
this workout and use aqua dumbbells. Um, for some of the exercise, yes, but I can bet you're gonna do way better if you don't, okay? Because you're gonna draw your attention to your lower body. That's exactly what I want you to do today. And then for the next day, if you want, just pick a workout that focuses on back or arms. If you guys want to learn more about virtual aqua classes offered soon in 2020, make sure you follow me on Facebook because that's where you will be notified once they are ready. No ads, full hour workouts, great quality videos anytime and anywhere. Make sure your kicks go as close to the surface, to the water surface as possible, right? Both of the kicks should look identical. So if you started at your hip level, yay, maintain it. Your arms are actually not on vacation here. Look, they're working pretty hard. Could you do and use aqua gloves in this workout? Yes, and probably aqua gloves. I would give you green light on aqua gloves more than for dumbbells in this case, if you really, really have to. <laughs> I know some of you are so ambitious and I love it. Keep going. Every time, once you bring those legs together, use your core strength. Yes, you are working inner thighs and out thighs, but core, guys, if you think core, every single movement in the water is your core workout. That was pretty challenging. I surely feel those legs, and I bet you too, but we're not there yet. Number five cross-country skiing mix, regular and then knee tuck. So watch me real quick, I'm gonna start in a slow motion. Cross-country skiing, guys, without tucking knees. By that, I mean you keep your feet close to the bottom of the pool and you just drag your toes forward. Then you're gonna tuck those knees up and down, up and down, up and down. So let's do eight of each. Notice I'm pushing the opposite arm forward every time. Plus, I'm turning around. Did you see that? All right, back to cross-country skiing. I'm out and in. Back and chest. Getting stronger, step by step. Core engage, and here we go. Knee tucks, ooh la la. And of course, you guys, if you choose to do any other arm moves, like a circle movement, that's fine too, all right? These are my ideas, but I do realize that you know a lot about what you like and what your body needs, so it's absolutely okay if you switch things up to your needs. Tucking knees up and down. Turning again and dragging those legs forward. This is such a good exercise, guys. We are wrapping up, speed it up or relax and run for a quick water break. All right, number six, we have side kick, this time just one, and then we're gonna drag our leg across. So one more time, kick as high as you can, then flex your foot and drag it across. This is again something that's gonna slim down and firm up those inner thighs. And I'll tell you something, inner thighs are usually the muscle that we just neglect. 
In an aqua class, not so much, but in any other workouts, anytime I teach traditional class on land and I get new student, I can tell because they have very weak inner thighs and out thighs. So guys, use those resistant bands, do a lot of those kicks in the water because we need our body to be balanced. And we don't just need to have front and back of our body strong. We need those inner and outer muscles strong as well. Let's switch leg and kick some more. Core must be engaged because guys, core is protecting you from moving out too far with your torso. Keep on going, kick and drag it. Don't bend your knee, all right? You only can tuck that knee before kick then you keep your legs straight. Look what I do with my hands. I still create additional resistance. I'm scooping the water in, and I make this moment harder by linking my fingertips. Yes, if you're wearing gloves, you do the opposite. You wanna open your palms, but if not, then you follow me, okay? If you are not forced to breathe out, once you're dragging your leg in, you're probably not doing your best. Sorry, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> Anna, how are you doing today? Is Anna with us today? If your name is Anna and you are enjoying this workout, make sure you comment below. All right, final couple kicks and drag it across. Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. Very cool, you guys. We nailed it. How are you feeling? Ready for more? Well, I'm ready to show you some other great exercise. You decide if this is a great moment for quick water break. This will actually work back of your legs finely, okay? So we did inner thighs and out thighs and now back. You're gonna take a step to the side and then you're gonna curl your heel back, okay? So knee curls, heel back, however we call this one, it's working back of your leg. Glutes as well. By using your arms and very powerful arm strokes, you're gonna take a little bit more out of it, okay? So obviously you can take it easy. Well, I'm choosing to go crazy today. I feel I got a bunch of energy. I really wanna straight strengthen those muscles, so hey ho. All right, did you see that? Both leg curls, this is advanced version of knee curls. Both legs at the same time are hard, especially with ankle weights. So we're gonna do eight of each, how's that? Step and heel, step and heel back, step and heel back. I'm still working my arms. How about you? What's happening? Are you doing it? <laughs> you do a quarter turn again, and you can skip those turns, okay? I just want you to see everything. Here we go, both legs, back, back. Now this may be uncomfortable for you if you had some knee issues, maybe even hip issues. That's okay if you skip it, just do one leg at it at a time for the entire time, no problem. Now I need you to start curling your knees more out to the side because you'll be getting ready for a twist into the knee. And we'll begin with repeaters. By this I mean you're gonna touch the same knee from the inside, knee or heel, or both, you can alternate. So you go knee and heel, and knee and heel, and knee and heel, nice job, keep on going. You're feeling those inner thighs once again, and that feels good. I'll tell you, it feels good when you're doing something good for your body. Debbie, are you with us today? I'm sure you are. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good tempo. Feel that challenge. 
All right, let's switch to twist. Now we're gonna alternate right and left, right and left. Don't worry, we will do the other side a little bit later. Guys, this one is a fast exercise. I know when you are just watching aqua classes or aqua workouts, it seems like we just play and you know have fun and we are relaxed. But once you are doing it, you're gonna know how challenging every single exercise is. Keep your feet wide open. Use your core strength to really get into that knee. Keep going, keep going. Switch side, because we are about to do those repeaters. I go into the knee and then into my heel. But if for any reason that would be too much, just stick to that knee. I don't want you to bend forward to touch your heel. You need to keep your upper body straight up, like you see me doing. And breathe, exhale. This one is also so good for oblique abs that you guys will be excused for doing any crunches, any ab exercise today, okay? It's only good for 24 hours. <laughs> Unless you pick another workout when you can, when you hear me excusing you for the next day. I cannot promise you anything though. You gotta pick the right one. Alternate, here we go. Da -dum, da -dum. It's fast, it's fun. It's fabulous. Keep turning. Woohoo! I feel like dancing. How about you? This one I love doing with noodle, but with ankle weights, it's not bad at all. As always, I am linking uh, this in a description link where you can purchase those sporty ones guys these will last you forever okay i'm ready to show you more split jumps and this is our number 10 we are kicking both legs out but before we kick we need to lift up those knees right so you are tucking knees to the side dragging those arms in like so oh boy it's fun we are warmed up and we are ready for this challenge. Not only I want you to focus on kicking high out, but also on bringing those legs in quickly after. Today I'm actually at my chest water level, what is actually slightly below my chest. I probably wish I could be deeper, but again, this is where I have good lighting. This is where I kind of have to make the video. But if you guys have option to go a little bit deeper, you won't feel as cramped as I feel now. You see, I would love to straight up my legs on the way down, but that's fine. I can deal with it today. <laughs> you got the point, right? And again, feel free to turn around, do couple facing each direction, look around. I always like to know what's happening, who's in a pool, <laughs> where all the sounds are coming from. Are you also so curious? Number 11, front and back kick mix. This time you're gonna kick forward like before, but without touching the bottom of the pool like we used to. Just kick back, engage those glutes, and lean a little bit forward to support the lumbar spine. Flex your foot, kick with your heel, and then backwards you also are kicking with your heel. If you really focus on engaging your glutes, you probably won't go too high up with the back kick. It's okay if you add a little bit of bounce. It's absolutely good if you are moving your arms along with this one. Jug it out and let's switch leg. On your exhale, do the first kick.
Every few kicks, eight or four, turn around and face the other side of the pool. Compare the front kick and back kick. Look how much lower your back kick should be. Water resistance and ankle weights even more will make it so much harder to stay in line. Yet, you have to know that's what you wanna do. All right, take a deep breath in, exhale, and watch number 12. This one is Starfish. And then we're gonna add Water Angel and Aqua Jack. So pretty much three different exercises that we're gonna blend together. You are firstly floating on your belly, moving your arms and your legs in. Legs do the opposite to what arms do or the same. That's your core. Then you're gonna jump down and you're gonna move to jumping jacks. You jump out, your arms open, you jump in, your arms close and you're gonna touch your legs on each side. It's pretty much the same movement, just in a vertical position. And then you are back to floating, this time on your back, open and close your legs. With your arms, you will be doing very fast, small moves just to do anything to stay afloat. When you finish those three, start over. So you're back on your belly floating and you know what to do. I love to do eight of each because it's easier to keep track on what's happening. This exercise you could also take to a very deep side of the pool. If you guys like deep aqua aerobics, make sure you check the video that I'm gonna link at the end. All those exercises are for deep aqua. It may be a good moment to remind you that I almost never recommend using both weights and ankle weights at the same time when you do floating exercise. I know if you're doing starfish exercise now, you won't be able to like the video, but if you are just watching today, make sure you take a moment and do so. Thank you. legs out and in eight times great one for abs even better for outsides and inner thighs because I'm personally obsessed with those ankle weights I know you won't regret if you get yours Here my arms do the opposite than legs, here they do exactly the same, in and out. I stay nice and tall with shoulders back and away from ears, chest lifted, comfortable breathing. If you're up for the challenge and you want to put your head back in the water, go for it. I just to keep, keep my keep my hair dry <laughs> if possible. All right, after such a challenging mix, it's a really good moment to take a water break and for me to show you what's gonna happen next. Number thirteen, heel touches. This time you're gonna touch your heel in front of you and then behind. Make sure, again, you don't overarch your lumbar spine, especially when you kick your heel back, when you curl your heel back, I should say. So your upper body pretty stable. If this means you're gonna do the hamstring curl, but you won't touch your heel, it's fine. Just try, copy the movement to the best of your ability today. Notice, at no point I'm rushing you or telling you go faster, faster, like I love doing when we do intervals. Guys, this one is all about being precise and about doing all of those moves right way. It's the same leg. We're gonna switch leg now. Here we go. 
Belly in, chest lifted. Once more, you are targeting inner thighs and then glutes and hamstrings. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Keep on going, guys. These are final reps for this exercise. Take the best out of it. I'll wait for you. All right, I cannot wait any longer. Number 14, cross-country skiing mix. This time we're gonna start with a horizontal cross-country skiing. So feet close to the bottom of the pool without knee tucking. You're gonna open your arms and then close. Just find a good tempo. We're gonna begin in a slow motion so you can really see everything. Then you're gonna do vertical cross-country skiing. Imagine there's a vertical wall right in front of you and you kind of want to copy the same exercise with your feet on the wall. Well, your arms have a tough task to help you floating, especially now with those ankle weights that are really, really making everything so much harder. Then you're going to jump down, come back to cross-country skiing. This will be kind of like a transition exercise before we add floating scissors. And guys, floating scissors, here we go. We are back on our belly, arms are again struggling here and working so hard just so we can balance. And then you're gonna start over. Obviously you wanna develop good tempo, but only as good as your form and your range of motion. Enjoy. I consider this exercise really advanced. This is not for someone who just started, but it doesn't mean that the entire workout is not for somebody new. Not at all. Guys, in a group fitness, we all can have fun and we all can benefit from those exercises. You just be smart and pick what's good for you today and get excited about the future, right? Here we go, number 15. Firstly, zigzag with touchdown and then floating zigzag. So first you're just gonna do half of the exercise, jump down, almost like both like kicks, right? Such a good one for abs. Hello, six pack. All right. If you feel you're doing great with those exercises, I'm gonna show you what's happening next. But let's make sure we firstly practice half zigzag, okay? So we touch down, zigzag, touch down. All right, and now we're gonna move on to zigzag, floating. Oh boy, this is hard. And this is way harder than doing zigzag without ankle weights or with dumbbells. This is the most challenging version for this particular exercise. Take it to the deeper end of the pool if you want to have even more fun with it. Love it, love it, love it! All right, feet back on the floor, feels good. Number 16, leg circles. Guys, for this one, I may recommend holding the wall to some, okay? If you feel that you are unable to stabilize your upper body, it is better if you grab the wall with one hand. You're gonna have so much more control of the circle. This one is a hard one. Another option you can try is to slightly bench your knee and just decrease range of motion. Then you're gonna take it forward and back. Oh boy, this one is really, really tricky. Again, work on the range of motion that works for you. One circle back, one circle forward. This really is like a three-dimensional glutes workout. 
Now we are moving to number 17, side to side leg lifts. And these lifts, let's do fast and smaller, all right? You won't be able probably go up to the 90 degree, that's fine. We need tempo and good number of repetitions. And then you're gonna move your leg forward and back. Again, I'm gonna call them lifts. Actually, we are bending our leg here, but that's probably gonna be easier to remember if I call it lift. Front and back, keep your legs straight. Look, again, I'm not going very high. It, it nowhere reminds you kicks, right? It's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Use your arms to balance a little bit better. Sorry guys for this, just checking if my camera is still there. <laughs> Quality control. And now we're gonna switch like big circle all the way back and around. You'll be surprised how after a while this particular exercise will get easier. Firstly, you will have to hold the wall. And then eventually, day by day, you're gonna feel like, well, I'm fine. <laughs> and that all means that your muscles are stronger. Okay, you're gonna reverse that circle. Use your core, use those arms. Keep your other leg stable on the bottom. And again, side to side lifts, fast and dynamic and lovely, lovely. Anyone from Great Britain? Front and back, splendid. <laughs> I love this accent. Mixing Polish accent with British accent. How am I doing here? <laughs> Final few reps. Go hard on those abs. Make that six pack happen today. Alternate back kicks. Now here you're gonna kick right, then kick left. After each kick you are curling your knee in okay tucking in knee you can jump over guys but just so you know jump over version is um, a little bit more advanced and I would say you be careful with it okay don't over arch the lumbar spine here's what I mean if you imagine your spine with all those natural curls you don't want to change it okay you can also try this one where you're tucking your knees in and then kick back super dynamic exercise love it how about you enjoying it and again back to low impact mixing those two low impact and then high impact each of the version gives you something else and again jumping over oh boy we, don't you feel like superhuman when you are in the water? We guys are flying, we guys are kicking, oh my. Okay, number 19, you're gonna kick back and drop your leg straight down. Don't kick back too far. It can be at your hip level, but notice how I'm bending forward, right? Because again, I don't wanna over arch the lumbar spine. And guess what? You don't want to do it either. All of the exercise that we did today are better than if you did thousand squats. How's that? Feeling good about it? Because I do. And you should as well. Final few reps. Again, do a quality control over your position. Maybe consider a quick water break. And then we guys are moving to number 20, swing kicks. You've heard me saying that many, many times over, but I repeat myself all the time. Sorry, part of this job. 
and this is one of the most challenging exercise with ankle weights oh boy even more challenging notice my toes are pointed those kicks are low and I kind of have my legs a little more flexible than for traditional kicks you kick from your knee and that is why you are really feeling the challenge in your quads immediately this is a short segment because guess what it's enough Keep dragging your arms back and forward. Palms are facing back. You can start kicking out a couple more times. If you were not challenged, just pause the video, do it again. And then do it again until you feel the burn in your quads. <laughs> this may turn out to be two hour workout after all. Well, I feel it even after a minute guys we are moving on number 21 jackpot v jumps another great exercise you'll be pushing your feet forward creating like a v position and then jumping down without ankle weights it's challenging with ankle weights is freaking challenging and good for you you can push your feet to the wall if you want or you can float anywhere in a pool very important that you don't end up laying on your back you don't want to float on your back you guys look like you are sitting on a chair and reclining back just a tiny bit but neutral spine again donkey kick now it's kind of the opposite right you're gonna kick back supporting that neutral spine imagine there's a wall behind you you want to push your feet back to the wall and push something forward pretty much with your hands you are just allowing all of this to happen i am so curious which exercise is your best one your favorite one let me know in the comments if you like it and many others like it maybe i will place it more often into the future workouts that are coming every month so make sure you subscribe so you never miss a new workout all right guys number 23 is l step it's like a step touch right we are moving side to side but we draw letter l on the bottom of the pool Keep your feet close to the bottom move your arms in a just move them along can you put your hands over the surface absolutely but why if the water feels so good oh unless you have a new manicure that that may work mm -hmm. that may be the reason jog it out and then switch side your l on the other side doing good keep going again quality control make sure your steps are long if you guys are too comfortable well i'm happy for you but i need you to be challenged as well final few moments and moving on number 24 diamond jumps yes now you keep your feet together and as you jump up you allow those knees to be tucked out and up yes pretty much your legs create a diamond looking good jump but don't it's actually your feet jumping up and down your body don't if you now look at the top of my head it's really not moving much make sure you do the same this was fun now let's do the same diamond floating on our back this one is tricky especially if you do it with the ankle weights if you are new to aqua try put your back on the noodle or hold dumbbells in your hands but then you need to skip using ankle uh, weights don't use both if you try it 
you're gonna know why <laughs> but I would rather you learn on my mistakes you guys are keep going diamond diamond with this exercise quite often you're gonna move around so look around see how much space you have great one again inner thighs out thighs and of course abs all right i would like to invite you closer to the wall of the pool number 26 scissors and you'll be able to see everything right now here we go you can try one of the options guys this is scissors with touchdown so one of your leg is touching the bottom of the pool the other one floats very close to the surface this one is slightly easier but you're doing great range of motion i'll show you another option in a moment where we won't be touching the bottom but we will decrease range of motion because you have to move much faster to stay afloat hold the wall don't let it go anywhere all right here's the other floating version please notice i'm not bending my knees and also i'm not allowing my feet to bounce above the surface if when you put ankle weights that happens you need to take them off do it without any equipment and once you get stronger you can put them back on you see everything happens below the surface and that's very important because if you allow your feet to float up, you probably already overarch your lumbar spine. Look at the distance from the wall. I'm pretty close. I'm grabbing with my fingers. There's about 90 degree point flex in my elbows. And it's a great exercise for summer because you are getting a tan. control your breath stay focused we guys are wrapping up wrapping up those are final seconds okay this one is again one of my favorite number 27 is by the way my favorite number too <laughs> you have level one one leg or both leg knee curls to the wall guys this one you could do with noodle but the problem with noodle is that it's so easy for them to kind of load away or something with ankle weights easy and challenging at the same time make sure you don't curl your knees all the way toward the wall if you go halfway in that's all we want and then just allow the water bouncy tea to kind of float your legs back to your starting point it's the same grip you see i'm still very close to the wall and i'm still smiling are you smiling I hope you are. And again, this is how the exercise looks from above the water surface. Try keep your hips down in the water. There's gonna be a quick moment when they move up, but that's just a little bit. You are fully, fully challenging your core muscles here. This exercise, I would say it's number one for core, number one, even if it's number 27 in this workout. And don't feel bad if you need to modify and do one leg curl at a time. You'll be getting stronger. You'll be able to do this, do this full version in no time, I promise. All right, guys, number 28, get out jumps with hamstring curls. Okay, so you're gonna try to get out of the pool, knowing you're not going anywhere yet, and then curl your heels back. This one makes little sense without ankle weights. With ankle weights, it's a totally different story. I love it. For those of you who for any reason couldn't do that, part with uh, arms 
You can just finish with some more hamstring curls, that's fine. This exercise for many people is uncomfortable. They may experience some wrist pain, but guys, for someone healthy, uh, keep those exercises in your life, in your workout. Here's another version, number 29, get out, jumps with splits. So now you are splitting your legs out and you're gonna drag those legs in using those inner thighs again. And I love to incorporate blue moves like this because these get us ready for those situations where sometimes swimming pool has no stairs or no ladder to get down. You just have to jump in and then get out. You'll be ready for this. All right, and another one. This one, very similar, but you are curling your knees before you kick out. So it's still tucking and kicking and splitting. Okay, number 30, hamstring stretch on the wall. Place one foot up on the wall with toes pointed up. It's okay if you like a slightly bent. As long as you feel stretch at the back of your leg, you are stretching those hamstrings. If you can touch your ankle or your toes, fine. If not, see if you can open your arms, find a balance, or maybe put your hands on your knee. Give yourself about 30 seconds on each side because that's exactly how much time we need for the muscle to relax. Switch leg. Think about something nice, something that maybe you have planned for today or tomorrow or in the nearest future. Number 31, V on a wall. This is stretch again. And shortly after we feel the symmetrical stretch, you will shift your body weight to one side, bending one leg right here. It's side lunge on the wall. As before, you give yourself 30 seconds on the right and then 30 on the left. I can't believe it. I just got my hair wet. Come on, guys, do it for me. Get your hair wet. <laughs> Come on. It's summer. <laughs> hey guys, if you need just a quick recap of all these exercise without watching the whole video, click the video linked in the description at, at the end. If you want to support the existence of this channel, join Patreons. You will learn more going to the website that I link in the description. You can also sit on the side of the pool with your legs straight and try touch those toes or maybe just place your hands on your knees. Breathe slowly and proudly because you just completed a pretty good workout. Butterfly, put your feet against each other just like that. Open up those knees. And you can bend forward or just hold that position. Hopefully it's nice and sunny now where you are. So your hair can dry. <laughs> Guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me, sending good vibes and hoping that those workouts are doing something good for you. They definitely bring me a lot of joy and I love sharing those ideas. So thanks so much and I will see you next time. Thanks for splashing by. Bye bye.
got the white knuckles holding on a tie. Keeping your fears bottled up inside. Heading for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. 